must have seemed like the good times would never end. But then, China happened. We interrupt your regular activities to bring you this very important message. I promise you'll be back outside again. This situation won't last forever. Back outside again. It's one hour into my shift, time for me to make another TikTok of myself dancing. Help me, I'm dying. People. Jesus fucking Christ, can't we even have a pandemic without getting offended? I have the coronavirus, that's why I don't have a voice. <laughs> so clean the mic after this, or you will get it. Am I still out traveling the world? Yes. Am I still shaking hands? Yes. Am I still cuddling fans at the airport? Yes. Has my life changed? No. Am I going to let some disease, COVID-19, dictate my life? Absolutely not. Get out there. Don't change. Fuck COVID-19. Breaking news. Mark Zuckerberg has tested positive for coronavirus. Shit. Get well soon, Mark. There's very little threat here. This disease, even if you were to get it, basically acts like a common cold or flu. Women under quarantine. You need Jesus. Women under quarantine. Women under quarantine. Please look at me, I shaved my head, I'm so quirky, please just one crumb of attention. I can't take this quarantine anymore, I must fuck random strangers. This social distancing is giving me panic attacks, anxiety, and depression. Men under quarantine. Hmm, I wonder which game I'm going to play next. People. Thought status. Patrolled. BBC5 Live caller Keith from Norfolk wants anyone flouting the lockdown to be shot by the army. The offenders on Keith's hit list were people running around sunbathing, spitting in streets, disrespecting the Queen, or generally being outrageous. People. Come on, Boris Johnson, you get better! Come on, you fuckers! Get out your doors, come on, let's clap the Boris Johnson! Yeah, piss off your Labour bastards! Coronavirus, the 32 funniest memes providing much needed lockdown laughs. Me sending my dog out for supplies since he can't contract COVID-19. Lol ha ha, that do be funny though because dogs are unable to drive and dog look funny driving. Day 18 of lockdown. Filled the dog with helium. Lol ha ha hee hee, oh my days. That's also very funny. 
and definitely worth the 157,000 likes it has received on Twitter.com. I would rather be on a corona ventilator in intensive care than have to see one more of these vacuous, abysmal, life-draining normie cringe memes. Somebody please fucking infect me. Pickle. Odd geez Paul Joseph Watson. Well well, imagine my shock, I am Pickle Paul Joseph Watson. Pickle. The thought of spending three years in the UK without traveling is scaring me big time. I hate this. Then why are you here? Couldn't think of anything worse than spending the rest of my life here. Then why are you here? Could spend my whole life without ever going abroad again. I love England. Pickle. British people will criticize agents for what they eat and say this is a good meal with their whole chest. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! It's so, it's so scary. It's not racist to point out that eating bats is batshit crazy. The argument is that you bought yourself some time and you didn't use it to prepare hospitals, you didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're so, now, you're so, you're so disgraceful. It's so Tens disgraceful the way you say that. Let, let me just, listen, dead. I just How went over it. Or this rant supposed to make people I just went over in it. an unprecedented crisis. Nobody thought we should do it. And when I did it... But what did you do with the time that you bought? You know what we did? You know what we did? Yeah. What do you do? Shut up, bitch! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Enough. Shut up, bitch, bitch! Shut up, bitch, bitch! Fantasy. Shut up, bitch! People. It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.